All right, we're rolling. Hey everyone. A few months ago, I met up with Marcus Niemela at the rally out in Quartzsite, and he was nice enough to give us a great tour of the camper. Well, there's you know something, Quartzsite to where are we in Zanesville, Ohio now? Ohio now, yeah. In a Cracker Barrel parking lot. Amazing the places you meet up. Exactly. Since that video, a bunch of things have changed, and he wants to go over it with us in another tour. So, what do you have to share with us? Well, here's what I'd like to do. Last time, I believe, we started off with the hitch pack. This is the jack pack. We sell this exclusively with the Kingstar. Not that we were anti other brands, it's just that the load is on this camper here and we manufacture our own jack legs. We send it across here, here, and then underneath. It actually has a shelf on all four corners where these legs aren't taking the load. It's actually the bracket that's taking the load. So this is uh, obviously the stair system down and it very easily, you just pick it up, slides in, that locks into place. The same thing here, locks into place. Most trailers you can tow with this setup on. You can get right to your factory hitch, depending on how far the nose of the trailer comes up. But I've towed my boat. You can uh, see it on our website, social media, Instagram, Facebook, having a little fishing ski boat towed right behind this very same camper. Over here, this generator, it's a Honda 2200 generator. It comes with this plate. We make this plate, we take the little rubber legs off of the Honda, put in a quarter inch uh, longer bolt. It's rubber mounted and we put rubber mounts on each end. And this is how it's attached from the inside. It's locked down so it stays secure going down the road. And then when you're in the restaurant, you don't have to worry about somebody stealing your generator because you lock this and they can't get in to, the, uh, to these latches. It has three two-gallon Roto-Pack gas cans that you can just easily take out. It's on a tiered system. And then also you have your LP tanks, your two Coleman LP tanks. And your grill, it's an Olympian 5500 grill. Now the idea is you get to your, where you're at, you take your gas cans out, move them to a safe distance, take your grill out, and this is a nice shelf, and the end of that shelf comes to about right here. You can grill on it, you can do little projects on it. And then also we have a quick disconnect where that shelf will drop all the way down so you can get right up into the, into the pack if you so choose. They're standard with this size container. You can actually fit the Honda 2200 generator inside of here. We recently moved that over here. We took our LP tanks. They're now moved over where we were at with the storage compartment. And the storage compartment's over here. And this is our freshwater city water connection. They come solar ready, ZAMP solar. We have an outlet here. We have a duplex outlet on the roof. I also just learned that this is a full walk-on roof and look how pretty that is. All stainless, absolutely gorgeous, and I love the solar panels. I'm gonna have to find out what those are. And this roof has enough real estate for 600 watts of solar. The north-south bed is gonna be large enough for 800 watts, which is incredible for a truck camper. The roof system, this is all stainless steel. It's 22 gauge. 304 stainless with a number four brush on it. And it's all the way from down here to the back wing, stainless steel. One thing I want to highlight here is there's not a seam, it's a bend. And that roof is bent down as well. So we're not relying on a piece of trim or caulking, butyl tape, anything like that. It's a definitive water block. We use buck bar riveting. It's an S channel that interlock with each other. 22 gauge stainless. There's Asdel. And then the uh, two by two, two by four, and two by six construction of the camper. 
with closed cell spray foam insulation, two inches. And that comes out to about an R10 R value. This is 15 gallon gray water um, tank, obviously exterior mounted. Mm -hmm. We do have a heating element in it, and I call it a 3.5 season gray tank. And that is in the teens up, but this is most of the country, most times of the year, and where you're wanting to camp, this is going to do the trick and it does it well. It's a slick, slick deal. Let's check out the inside here. Here we go. Got a nice little handrail, grab rail there. Got a little grab rail here. So this is what we call the coastal interior. It's our brightest, lightest interior that we offer. And every camper we make is thermal pane windows, closed cell insulation, soft touch ceiling, so this is our most popular layout, the couch bunk, because it offers a nice, big, comfortable seating area, six feet from here to the shower wall. You have two adults here, and you can sleep an adult on top and bottom, and you're gonna see how this transforms into a nice sleeping bunk. Small children, you can sleep two and two because you're 72 inches wide, 40 inches deep. Here we go, I'm gonna pull these, um, cushions off for purposes to get a more visual of the um, mechanism how it works this is your support for the back this is the support for the middle and you're going to see the longer legs that'll be the support for the end here and it's rated at 300 pounds so pull that back pull that back so this comes out comes up There, that's done, and then we've got another sleeping arrangement down here. We have a USB port for the, uh, the lucky person that gets to sleep down here, and it's usually a fight amongst the kids. They want the bottom bunk. Put the cushions back on here. There you have it. This particular bunk is six foot six from that shower wall to here. Well, we're all done sleeping. We want to get on with the day. Here's all you do. Flip this cushion up, stow that. Pull the, switch the legs. you have it so this That's really will sleep comfortably for people yeah it'll sleep uh, teenage and above for four adults uh, you have children and it's a six foot by 40 inch bed top and bottom so children you could actually have four children and two adults here you have your tables Eight thousand BTU AC unit. Your swing out TV. This is stuff that we went over before. Your stereo systems up front. This is a twelve volt and a one twenty TV. This one has the Zamp. We have one hundred and eighty watts of uh, power on this particular camper. We have the inverter right there, a two thousand watt inverter tucked in the corner. Great for coffee in the morning. Just pop that thing and you're good to go. So with the LP tank, by moving that over there, 
now this is wide open. You can have it just like this with more storage pull-out drawers or just a big area. Or we can make it look just like this with the cooktop and you have your storage from the outside. Just by moving this, we're able to offer our customer three different options. So you can go with an oven or just stick with a cooktop, outdoor storage, or have the cooktop and have indoor storage. You can put shelves in there, drawers in there, whatever you choose. We have just recently introduced the north-south um, camper. Everything from this point back is the same. The four different layouts that we have. The change is up front. The profile that you see of the east-west nose is the very same profile on the north-south. What happens is from this point where the buttons are, this flat part, it grows 20 inches. And there's gonna be uh, content showing up on our Instagram, Facebook, and our website very shortly. We just did a photo shoot of our north-south. And you're gonna notice on that north-south that there's another hanging closet right here. That window is obviously moved with the nose 20 inches away. You have a nice hanging closet here. There's cabinets underneath the windows. There's uh, cabinets up front in the corners, reading lights, individual reading lights, little push ceiling reading lights. Uh, Truma, Truma Combi is in the works. We're already um, building them and sold units. And with the Truma Combi, we're able to offer the 5.2 cubic foot refrigerator, have the separate freezer, mm -hmm. bigger fridge. So that's coming. You're gonna be seeing more of that on our website and, and um, social media of the highly anticipated North-South, which everybody wants. And it's amazing what 15, 16 square feet does with the overall feeling of the camper, it's huge. You're always balancing uh, cost and weight um, with a mission of being quality and, and form and function being right, not sacrificing that along the way. It's been great meeting up with you again. Pleasure. Thank you for the tour. I really appreciate it. Thanks again. Sasha, you're in yeah, she had to work. the camp. She's working. I'm going to leave all of the information about the camper and Kingstar down in the description so you can check that out. They have a really, really amazing website. It's just so beautiful so you should definitely check that out and also let us know in the comments what you think of the camper if you have any suggestions he loves to hear new ideas I do so keep it coming that's the, that's the way you get the products right if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing so that you don't miss any of the other videos that we're gonna make like this so thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video sounds good thank you bye bye bye